The South African Rail Network is the largest on the African continent at 20,000 kilometers. About one third is electrified, mainly at 3 kV, but 25 kV has been used on recent schemes. The iron ore railway in the west of the country uses 50 kV. The rail gauge is called Cape Gauge, 3 foot 6 inches, the same used in most of Africa, and also the main gauge used in Japan, the Philippines, Indonesia and New Zealand. The gauge was first used in England and adopted for use in Norway and some railways in Australia. The network infrastructure is state-owned, now by Transnet, formerly Spurnet. The same company owns the country's ports and pipelines. South African Railways is today principally a freight railway. Transnet Freight is the state-owned freight operating business within the holding company Transnet. The $2 billion a year freight division in turn operates six business units. Agriculture and bulk liquids, coal, containers and automotive, iron ore, steel and cement, and other mining activities. These divisions are production rather than customer orientated. There is no wagon load network per se, however mixed trains run and there are marshalling yards to accommodate ad hoc less than train load. The country's major international airport, OR Tambo International Airport, previously Johannesburg International, and before that, known as Jan Smuts, is located northeast of the city alongside the N1 motorway, halfway between Johannesburg and Pretoria. The north-south motorway was becoming increasingly congested in the 1990s, and when the country was selected to host the FIFA World Football Championship in 2010, plans were made to build a new railway line linking Pretoria with Johannesburg via the airport. The project was announced to a sceptical public in 2000 and took six years to firm up to let the contracts. The main contract was in the form of a PPP. The selected preferred bidder was the Bombela Concession Co Consortium, which includes Murray & Roberts, South Africa, Bombardier, Canada, Bouygues, France, and various minority shareholders, including the Paris transport operator, RAPT. The stock selected for the project was Bombardier Transportation's Electrostar, a model of train common in southeast England. Fifteen cars were manufactured and assembled by Bombardier in Derby, UK, with the remaining cars assembled by Union Carriage and Wagon in South Africa, using components made in Britain. The Gull train fleet consists of 24 trains, each made up of four cars, 19 trains for the commuter network and five for the airport one. The airport trains are a special subfleet provided with extra storage areas for luggage and more luxurious seating. 